Although the haka has Maori origins, traditional war challenges are performed by many Pacific Island nations. And today, 850 students from 20 schools took part in the Haka Warriors competition, helping them connect with their culture. Slapping. Stamping. Swaying. All led by loud chants. Actions of the Haka, a New Zealand war dance dating back hundreds of years, and today showcased by students in Sydney, coming together for the Haka Warriors competition. We work hard, we never give up. Even if we don't win, we still have fun. The program provides an opportunity to embrace all cultures. That's a bit of Tongan, Māori, Cook Island, Fiji as well. I'm not only just doing this for myself, I'm doing this for my family and my family's before and onwards. You have, you have to be graceful for some cultures, then like fully energised for others and it's like something good to learn because you like know that not all are the same, you're all different in your own way. Starting in 2019, Haka Warriors was developed by the Community Youth Club in Bankstown in partnership with police. For 20 weeks, these students have not only been rehearsing their performances, They've also engaged in mentoring and leadership sessions to learn more about the values of the haka. A haka teaches not only cultural identity, uh, it teaches the values of respect, resilience, uh, it teaches communication and teamwork. Happy is the program lead at Evans High School in Western Sydney. She hopes today will inspire her students. In a world today where so much has been taken away from us, culture can never be taken away from them and that's what they can always call theirs and it's had positive outcomes in the classroom too. It's influenced their attendance at school, it's influenced their positive attitudes towards schooling, um, towards teachers and each other. And I think what it's really done for our kids, it's allowed them to, to find their inner voice. And they certainly have. Francesca Di Nuccio, SBS World News.